All right, everybody, what's going on? How y'all doing? Welcome to today's edition of Swag Talk, the show we cover the swag inside and out. I'm your tour guide around the swag. See what's coming at you. And I um this is just a video, man. I wanted to I wanted to put down just you know, just to kind of share my thoughts on something um that, that took place Saturday. Um so it got nothing to do with on the field action or nothing like that. So I just, you know, when when things happen sometimes, sometimes you gotta, you know, come to your come to your, your space and talk about it. Uh started to do this Saturday after the game, but I decided to wait because I didn't want to uh be still kind of uh charged up from the game and you know just you know just saying anything and everything that come to mind. So this is just a little free flowing video, man. You know, like I said, we're gonna be back with football stuff on Tuesday. I, our first HBCU top 10 will be dropping on Tuesday. And Wednesday is our week three re, week three preview. Uh Thursday, Swag Smoke, live 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. And Sunday, week three, week three recap uh coming at you. Also, um, the uh link for the week three pick'em will be up today. So y'all can get down on that. Um, make sure you have your picks in before noon on Saturday. Um, and and that's that's that, man. So um like the video comment share subscribe you know the whole nine you know how that go so let's go ahead and talk about what i want to talk about i don't want to take a long time man so i just want to get this out of there um because i i just don't like it um saturday afternoon you know i me and wife leave the crib at like 3 3 30 to get to campus you know it's not it, you know not a crazy crowd expected so you know leave 3 30 live 15 minutes away from campus get on campus by 3 45 3 50. um First issue um, is, and this is all basically game day experience type of things. Um, my first issue is whenever you get to Southern, if you've never been to Southern for a game, you know, there's three ways to come on campus. There's the main way on Harden Boulevard, over the bridge, past Mini Dome Football Stadium and all of that. Uh, then there's the Swan Avenue entrance, which is on the other side of Mini Dome, take you to the back side of the stadium. And then there's the Mills Avenue um, entrance, take you to the back of campus. So I always come on campus through the over the main entrance, um, get on campus and um, you know trying to park. So you pay for your parking, and there's nobody on the street to tell you where to go. That's my first issue. Um, I I know you know I know where the sign lights are and where you know most of the paid lights paid lots of so it's not really a that's not really a problem for me but for people who are on campus that you know don't don't park reserve they don't really know where to go and you know it wasn't a big issue this week because savannah state probably had a busload of people at best so they that, that really wasn't an issue there but you know pay for my parking um and i know i know what lot i want to go to because i already i already looked it up um nobody was standing in front of the lot to tell to tell me yay or nay so i turn in man you know and turn my new turn 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 my little whip in there and um after i drive a little bit and uh for my su people i parked at, at my bradford hall um you know turned in went in the lot drove a little bit and two cats was talking um they they work in traffic but they they, they chilling man they're not even paying attention to nobody so, you know, I asked him, bro, you know what I'm saying? I can park up and in. Yeah, you know, so don't direct me nowhere, you know, every man for himself. So, you know, I, I turn and, you know, find me a spot, park, park the whip, get out, get the, get the gear, head to the head of the stadium. Now, it's maybe four o'clock. I know there's nobody in there yet. I'm always like the first person um, in the in the north end zone. Uh, sometimes I'm like one of the first people in the stadium itself. I love to get that super early. So. I know, you know, first game, you know, always going to be, you know, it's always going to be Hicko's first game um, when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I get to the gate, um, my mom and dad with me because they had some issues uh, downloading their tickets on their phones. So I put everybody's tickets on my phone, um, get to the gate. And this cat who looks like R. Kelly with gold teeth <laughs> tells me we can't come in this way. I'm like, you know, I'm like, bro, this is the interest for the North end zone. You know, it's like, oh, no, this is field passes only. I'm like, yes, people with field passes can walk through. Um, but this is the gate for the North end zone. And the lady that was working that with him, 
She says, no, you can't come in this way. You got to go in down on that end. I'm like, that's the, that's, you know, the West side, you know, that takes you to the main, that takes you to the West side of the stadium. There's no way I can go in and come across. There's no gate to leave and come in to the North end zone from the, from the West side. And that's the issue I got in, in and of itself. I, I always feel like those two sides, the, the, I always feel like the, the North end zone complex should have been connected to the stadium itself. Um, for that purpose, but you can't do that. So I, I was like, so what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to scan my ticket, uh, get in that line, go through all of that, go through the security, scan my ticket, then come back out and then come back to you. And then you're going to act like I haven't been there. You know, I'm like, that's, you know, that's not, that's not, that's not happening. You know, I mean, it makes zero sense. It's not right. That, that doesn't happen. I've been sitting in these seats for five years, never had this issue happen before. Um, so they still ain't know, and they still, still they were still trying to adamantly send, send me and my people down there. So somebody actually who worked in the ticket department or whatever you want to call it was there. They finally came and like they were like, no, they you know this is the area they come through. So got that situated. Give them my phone. Not a not a scanners don't work. And you know that that's you know you always had that issue you know what I'm saying with 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 digital stuff you know especially the first time you know you I always try to throw you some leeway because you know things happen you know what I'm saying you know things might not be set up right whatever but on top of everything that had already happened I was like nah man you know I, I'm not, you know I, I'm I'm not happy right now you know what I'm saying so I you know I sit there you know we, we sit there and wait that they took like. 20 minutes to get this get the situation fixed and finally you know they scan and let me in so all of that you know i say all of that to say um game day operations are vital man you know like for people who go to the games all the time um sometimes it's not an issue for you because you know that you're gonna be there the next game and you know you know what i'm saying you'll be there multiple times through the season and you know you'll see things improve or whatever but when you got, especially in that section, that's a lot of time. That's the, a lot of people that sit there are, are people who um, who just getting tickets for the game. You know, just you know they want to run on campus, catch a game, or maybe they're visitor. You know, they want you know catch the game. Um, you do have season ticket people that sit there. Um, no, we all know each other by face, not by name, but um, it's not that many. So when you have that kind of hiccup, you know, it is good that it happened, not that not, it's not good that it happened to me, but it's good that it happened to somebody like me and not somebody who was this is their first Southern game. Cause that person is not coming back. Um, I, I feel like you need to have a dry run or whatever you want to call it. Um, before, you know what I'm saying? Before the first game, man, it's Friday night, you know, Saturday morning, something, get everybody together, you know, make sure everything's working. This is like I said, this is the first game and you know, Pete, Pete Richardson classic, it's supposed to be a big game. So, you know, home open a big game and you want to have things laid out as best as you can because, you you know, of course there's going to be hiccups, but you really need to communicate with the people that that are working the security because, A, those people are not, you know, they that's, that's this just a little Saturday gig for them, you know, but they, you know, they need to know because when you telling people wrong information and you're the one in charge of, of, of a gate, um, you can really cause a lot of issues to people who are, are you know, who are unfamiliar. Um, don't have another game to October 5th at home. So hopefully they get this situation straightened out because that's, that's a pain in the, in the butt to go through every, you know, every, every Saturday. Um, it, it makes you, you know, it puts you in a certain mindset because now you already kind of heated um, from, you know, kind of getting, getting into it a, a little bit with the people at the gate. Um, you know nothing crazy. Ain't like I, you know, ain't like, ain't like I went off on nobody. Nothing like that. I, I don't get down like that. You know, I respect you know people who do, just doing their jobs. But you know, it, it it puts you in a certain mind frame, and you know, it takes a while for you to get into the get into the spirit of the game after going through stuff like that. And on top of all of that, I you know I don't, I don't even care whatever happens. What whatever happens happens. But on top of all of that, they didn't even want any of us. So um, that's a major faux pas um, that needs to definitely be addressed. So hope, you know, like I said, I, I just really wanted to make this video just to kind of get this off my chest that I don't have no purpose really for making this. Just, you know, I got to 
I got an avenue to talk about it. I, you know, I don't want to wait till Thursday to talk about this during Swag Smoke because I want to just, you know, put it out there, dead it, and you know, get ready because you know a lot of big games, you know, this week. I don't want to take time away from none of that for anything like this. But game day operations need to really be improved. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't know, you know, where the disconnect is, but. I've been to enough stadiums that I know, you know, I know how certain things should go. Um, and that's just unacceptable. Now, you can say it was early and maybe, you know, maybe they got better later. That's fine. But you still have to account for those people that get to games early because some of us do, you know. So I, I think you need to have your systems in order. And, you know, this is this is Southern's second year with digital tickets. So some of these mistakes should not be happening. Um and it, it, it discourages people from coming to the game because, you know, a lot of people, you know, they're not coming every game. You know, they're coming to one game and then they're probably going to come to homecoming and they're probably not coming back. And that's the main thing they're going to use as a reason why they don't come back is because they're, you know, they're not happy with the way they were treated. They're not happy with, you know, the lack of direction and parking. They're not, you know, they're not happy with, you know, concession stand, not taking cards, they're only taking cash, you know, they don't tell you this ahead of time. You know, it, it it's little things like that. Um, that the average the average casual game goer is not gonna be happy with and they're not gonna come back for that. Um a, a person like me who always go to games and been going to games since I was little, you know, some of that stuff don't even matter to me, but it matters to people that's with me. And, you know, I want to make sure the people that are with me are happy and they won't come back to another game. So, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully I'm trying to chalk a lot of this up to first game hiccups and, you know, they'll, you know, they'll be better prepared for the next game. Cause like I said, they got to October 5th to get right. Um, hopefully, you know, everything will be, will be, will be smooth sailing after that. Um, and that's why I really didn't want to do this Saturday because I wanted to kind of just sit on it and, you know, chalk a lot of this up to first game hiccups and stuff. But still, you know, you still got to put it out there because I don't think that you should ever be put in a position that you feel like somebody's trying to play you. So, you know, anytime you feel that way, you should be able to sit down and say it, you know, say, you know, I, that's not right. And, you know, I, I don't, you know, I don't like to be wrong. I love to be right. And, you know, to sit down and tell these people, man, this is what, this is how this works. <laughs> you work in a gate. And then the people who over the stuff come and tell that person, hey, that dude is right. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's petty, but you know, I like I, I like that sometimes. So without, with, you know, man, I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there, man. And then, like I said, this is a little fun video, man. You know, ain't no harm, no foul. Um, I don't hold no ill will to nobody that, that that works up there. Um, other than that, you know, everything was pretty pretty cool. You know, with 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 the stadium, I did love that they came up with a you know with a nice little video and everything for the fourth quarter light show. Um, that was that was pretty good, and hopefully, you know, that can that can be better and better as they move on through the season. So, with all that being said, man, I'm your tour guide around the swag. See Wells signing signing out, and I will catch y'all on the rebound. Peace.